Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to Rainy Day Guitar. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to play the circle game by Joni Mitchell. This was a request that was put up on my website. It's kind of hard, so it's taken me a bit, but I will put it on and play with them once, and then I will go back and show you how to do it step by step. Okay, I'm going to miss the beginning because it starts right off the bat, but I'll go back and show you how to do it.
pretty close, a few mistakes, but all right, let me stop that. Okay, okay, so let me go ahead and show you how to do this. Okay, first of all, you're gonna have your capo on your fourth fret, and then you're gonna lower your sixth string and your fifth string a whole note. So your, your sixth string should now sound like this. It's not gonna match the first string anymore. We're doing a standard kind of a G chord here. Okay, so we've lowered six and we've lowered five, a whole note. There's your chord, okay? All right, so now we're gonna start, and our capo's on the fourth fret. Okay, now we're gonna start with, oops, that's not it. <laughs> G major seventh, okay. Okay, so that's weird, but we're not, we're not gonna hit one. Okay, so that's your introduction, and they use that a lot during the song. Well, not all of it, but part of it. Okay, so your pointer's gonna go on the second string, third fret, and your tall man and ring finger are gonna go on the fifth and the fourth on the fourth fret. Okay, then the pick is going to be two and five together, then four, three, two. Okay, and then you're going to slide down to this first and second fret, and you're going to do that same one, but then you're going to lift off your pointer. Can we tell it to you again? Five and two, four, three, two, slide down, five and two, four, three, lift, two. Do it again three times. Five and two, four, three, two, five and two, four, three, lift, two, five and two, two, four, three, two, slide down, five and two, four. Now you're gonna go, so this last time is slightly different. You're gonna go five and two, four, put your pinky on the second string, third fret, and go two, and then lift it off and go two. Okay. Okay, and then you're gonna go. You see, then you're gonna. So then opens. You're gonna go five and two, four, three, and then you're gonna pluck two and four. Five and two, four, three, two and four together, and then you're gonna do a hammer. If I could not miss. Okay. What I did there was I went five and two, four, three, four and two, hammer. Okay, and then you're gonna take your pinky on the second string, third fret, and pluck that. Then take your pinky off, pluck two again. Take your pointer off, pluck two again, okay? You do that little segment. Okay, okay, so one more time. Five and two, four, three, two and four, hammer. Pinky on two, pinky lift pointer lift. Okay, then you're going to go open, five and two, four, three, and then you're going to jump up to those two notes. So that is the second string, third fret, tall man on the third string, fourth fret. Okay, so you'll pluck two and three together, pause, and then go three, four, three, let's see, four, three, four. Okay, so can we do that last little part again? From the open G, so five and two, four, three, pluck, and then put your fingers on two and three and pluck two and three, pause, four, three, four. Okay, let me do that whole intro one more time. totally optional if you want to. Okay, so that's the intro. Now, it says here, she does this part. This is called riff one, the last half of that, where she goes. Didn't do that very well, let me try it again. This is riff one, okay? It's the last half of the intro. do it anyway okay that's riff one and when you see it it says riff one in a lot of places in the song because she does that a lot 
Okay, so after we've done the introduction, we're gonna start our regular pick. So that, that part right there with the intro kind of explains it five and two, four, three, and then it's gonna slide back and forth. It kind of tells you the pick on the G major seventh and the A minor seventh, and the, this is the G major seventh right here. Slide down A minor seventh, and it's got pictures of all those chords. Since we've messed with our tuning, sometimes it can get a little tricky. Okay, so that's the, those are the chords that I'm talking about. Okay, so now we're gonna go on a G, which if, if you don't hit one, unless you hold that down, because normally a G is like that, but we just lowered these two, so really all we need is that. That's our G now, okay? Okay, so we're just, but we don't play one in this song hardly at all. So we're gonna go, nope. That's gonna be my main pick. Okay, so I'm gonna go five and two, and it says regular pick right here. It says B slash two, which means bass, whatever your bass note is, and two together, okay? Five and two, so on, on the G, it's gonna be five right here. Five and two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, and it's got that pick right there for you. Five and two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three. By the way, you can print this off at rainydayguitar.com. I got to tell you that. Okay, okay, so five and two. Yesterday, uh, and you're gonna put down, this is kind of a C, except it's not a C anymore, remember, because we, we lowered that guy. But this, this part, that's a C with the base of G. That's our G, okay, right there. See how that's a G, okay? Okay, so we're gonna do a C with the base of G. So I've got C slash B, or sorry, C slash G, and that means C with the base of G. So, yes, yesterday, a child came out to... Now we're gonna do the first riff. To wonder... I can't sing and play at the same time. To wonder. Go back to open G. Cotton, cotton, dragon, fly inside us. So that's repeating what we just did. Now we're going to do a D7. Since we've lowered our sixth string, this is now, this is a D, okay? So we're going to actually play, okay, so on this D we're going to go bass, three, four, two, so what did I do? Bass three, four, two, three, four. No, that is not right. Bass th three, two, one, three, two, lift one, and then maybe hit three again. And then I put my ring finger over here, kind of, um, this is the second string, kind of like a regular D, but not quite. So you're gonna go, that's a second string third fret, and I'm gonna go two, three, well, I would love to reach up and grab that, but I never get around to it, so I'm probably gonna go. Oh, you can hit it open. So th two, three, four, open one, four, one, two, whatever you wanna hit there, I don't really care. So the main thing you have to get is this pattern, this sound. advanced. <laughs> ah, okay, there we go. That's that little sound. I don't really care what you do in between and around there. Okay, but you got to start with the D7. Start with six, okay? Six, three, four, no. Six, three, two, one, three, two, one, three. Here's what I'm doing. I'm switching over. Ring finger on the second string, third fret, and I'm going to go two, three, four, one, four, or one, two, no, it doesn't sound good to one. One, three, you can hit one, three, or one, four, but one, two doesn't sound good. One, four, one, two, four. Okay, or throw a three in there instead, but you gotta da, 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 That's kind of the pattern you want. Back to open G, okay? Fearful when Now we need a B minor, but we've messed with our chords, so we can't play a B minor like that. We have to pointer, we have to put the pointer in second string, third fret, and we've got to put our tall man, ring, and pinky on the fourth, no, fifth, fourth, and third strings on the fourth fret. I have a picture for it for you right there, okay, so that you can kind of see that. That's a B 
minor. Don't hit one, okay? So let me back up. which we're going to do two, three, four, five, all on the fifth fret. And fearful when I'm fearful at the... Then open, falling. And we're going to walk down with our second and our fifth string. Of a star. Okay, so what that was was... And fear, let's see, let me back up to thunder. Fearful when the sky was full of thunder. And here's your high C. Fearful at the open falling. Now here's my walk down with five and or two and five. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my pointer on the second string, third fret, and my tall man on the fifth string, fourth fret. I'm going to pluck five and two. Then I'm going to walk down two frets, and I'm on the first and second fret, and then I'm back to open. And right here, I'm going to do my riff number one. Okay, so that's kind of except I think I did it backwards. Should be five, four, three instead of five, three, four. Okay? riff one all the time so let me kind of back up okay so let me go fear I'm gonna do the fearful part fearful when the sky was full of B minor thunder sorry I've lost my voice it's the end of the week um, back up to high C and fearful at the open G falling walk down on five and two of a open riff one star Now we're to the chorus, okay? That's the first verse. There are four verses. They're all the same. So I don't think I'm going to do all four, but I will do the chorus, okay? And the open G. And the seasons, seasons, they go. We're going to do a high G. And seasons, seasons, they go round and round. And I can't decide which she does. I wish I could remember at this moment. I should have made a note to myself. I didn't, but you could choose which one you like. So there's two walk downs. So you can start on the high G, pluck two and three, slide down to the second fret, two and three again, and then open. Or you can jump up to two and five and do that one with the lower bass. So that's kind of a walk down. Round and round, or round and round and round. Either one is really pretty. And the C picking there I have no idea five and two three four two three, five and two three four two three four two no Seasons, they go. that would be prettier okay five and two three four and then put your fingers down and pluck two and three together pause three four three and then you can go round and round or And the painted ponies, painted ponies, they go up and down. After you do your whatever your walk down is, go four, three, four, just keep it flowing. Okay, then a, now it says a C2, and I have like this really awkward picture of this awkward chord, but it's so pretty. If I could just do it, it looks like this. Let me make sure I've got the right one. Yeah, that is what I'm hearing her play, but I just can't get to it fast enough. So I'll show you a cheating shortcut. Okay, so my pointer is on the fourth string, second fret. Tall man is down on the second string, third fret. My pinky's gonna skip a fret. He's over on the fifth fret, third string. Not pretty? Okay, so that is a hard chord to reach. And I, if I do it, I kind of start out like that and then put my pinky on. I, I just can't grab it fast enough, so I'll start with these guys as soon as I can add my pinky. 
didn't do it very well in the demo, but that's the goal, okay? So right here, my pick is five and two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, two, five and two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three. Okay, so I just do it twice. And then a cheating way to do that, and almost get the same sound. So all I'm doing is the same thing that I did before with the C with the bass of G, two and four, but then I'll put my pinky on gives you that sound that she's got going on there. Kind of a cheating way to pull that off. Okay, so let me back up. And the seasons, they go round and round. The pinkies, they go up and down. Okay, now here's where it should be. Ha! And then, no, no, I would just stay there. If you want to fiddle with it and coming off, then you go back to the C2. We can't return, we can only look. And right here I hear a quick G. We can't return, we can only look. And then a B minor, beside or behind. Okay, so that's the B minor. Left behind from. C, high C. Came and go, open G. Round and round and two and five. And she she kind of goes slow. So those it says slow walk down. That's this. Instead of that, it goes. Okay. So and go round and round and round in the circle game. Riff one. Interestingly enough, um, words like when you're older, must appease you, and promises of someday make his dream. Yeah, I'm going to show you a riff that she doesn't do, but I kind of accidentally stumbled upon it because I did hers wrong, and then I kind of liked the way this one sounded too. So. For variety, instead of going, you can go like this. No. Do that again. So what I'm doing there is five and two, three, four, then put these guys right down and go five and two, three, four, two, and then hammer on two and pull it up. I'm not getting good sound. I'm supposed to go da, 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 with my pinky. Kind of here and there, but I'm also bumping one tonight. So that's another option wherever you want to throw that in, okay? So then she goes back to the chorus, the seasons, they go round and round, set, and then the next verse, 16 springs and 16 summers, she goes back to the chorus, fourth verse. So the years spin by, and now, I'll go to the end. Now the years spin by, and now the boy is twin. I'm going to skip to the end just so I don't run out of tape here. Okay, so after you're on the, the last time with the chorus, you've done the fourth verse, you go to the chorus, okay? I'm going to skip to the last part of the chorus. So she goes, We can't return, we can only look. And then she goes to a quick G and then a B minor. Behind from where we came, see? back to the beginning, G major 7th, with these two guys looking like an E minor, but up to, and this guy in the 2nd string, 3rd fret. Round and round and round, the circle came. Riff 1, she does it twice. Okay, did you see that? So she went, let me do that again. She does, and the circle came. 
Now right here she does it again, repeats that rip. She holds it there and then she goes and then she kind of goes that's the end. Okay, so let me tell you what I'm doing there. So I went I went to this rip twice right there, hold it, let go and go. I'm hammering on and off of two and four call it a flutter. Flutter three, four, five. She flutters five times and then she does a little strum but I do not hear that high note so just so that you don't bump it, just so you don't accidentally play it, mute the first string and you get that nice rich sound with the lower notes instead of that high little one, okay? All right, you can have the high one if you want to, but I don't hear it when she's doing it. All right, that is The Circle Game by Joni Mitchell. Really pretty song. I was not familiar with that, so grateful to whoever requested it. I had several requests for that one. All right, go to rainydayguitar.com to print this off, and for more fun songs, check it out at rainydayguitar.com.